Hi everyone, welcome back to SFDC Girl. For those who are new here, thank you so much for joining. In today's video, we will be praising the Winter 24 updates from Salesforce. I mean, they have given us some really useful updates for Flow especially. We will cover all those updates in different and separate videos for them. So now without any further ado, let's dive straight into our Winter 24 org and start understanding our first update. Okay, so first of all, for using all the Winter 2024 updates and for trying them out, you have to sign up to the pre-release Winter 24 org, okay? Uh, for that, you have this link here. You can sign up uh, from here for a free trial and then you will have your brand new Winter 24 org for all the new updates to check them out and to practice them. Uh, I will add the link in the description so you can just sign up to this org. And also, I will add a link to the release notes uh, so that if you want to study by yourself, you can do that. Otherwise, you can wait for my video every week for the new Winter 24 updates. If you like learning with a video format, okay? Otherwise, you can just read out and you can just figure it out by yourself uh, about all the updates. Now, let's go back to our org. And uh, before creating a flow, I will tell you what is today's update that we are going to cover. The new update that we are going to cover is custom error message element. Yes, you heard it right. Now we have a custom error message element in our flow builder. So with that, we can show our users custom error messages uh, to tell them what went wrong and how to correct that. Okay. But for your reference, the custom error message element is only available for record triggered flow because this will only work with before save and after save flows. Okay. So we will just create a record triggered flow. Now, before you ask anything about this screen, before you get confused, let me just give you a brief idea of what is uh, this new update is all about. So now with Winter 24 update release, we can use the new custom error message element to create targeted error messages for our end users to explain what went wrong and how to correct it. The error messages display in a window on the overall record page or as an inline error on a specific field. Okay, the associated record is rolled back. Basically, uh, for showing the error messages, you have two options if you want to show it on a particular field or if you want to show it on a overall record page, you can do that. And if the error occurs, the previous action, basically the previous action that we did before that error will be rolled back. Error messages can be created for before save and after save flows as I have mentioned earlier, okay? Now, look at this screen. How beautiful and how well managed this is looking right now, right? So in the Windows 23 update, we have this uh, new feature as well that uh, previously what happened was if we wanted to choose an element, we will choose it and all of its properties will come in a pop-up which will block all the other elements, right? We are not able to see uh, all the other elements that are there in flow. But now with this release, we will uh, be seeing all the properties of any element on the right hand side and on the left hand side, uh, you can see the other elements as well. Now we are at the start button. So it is showing all the start button properties and attributes at the right hand side. Okay. Now let's say uh, we are making it on contact. Okay when a contact is created and conditions will be null. Now here you can see there is no save button. This is already saved. You just have to close it and you will see uh, your details and attributes are here. Okay. Now uh, let's just create a simple scenario. Let's not complicate it because at the end we are not creating a complex flow. Rather than that, we are just seeing how the custom error message works. Okay. Let's keep it simple. What we will do is uh, we will check if the context title is empty, we will show a custom error message. Okay. So what we will do is we will go here and here you can see we have a new element, which is custom error. Uh, let's name it title error. Okay. And here you will see a uh, set message details where to show the error message. You have two options in a window on a record page or as an inline error on a field. Okay. So if you want to show it on like overall on a record page, or if you want to choose a specific field to mention that you have missed this field. Okay. So let's choose as a inline error on a field. Now you will get an option to select the field. So we will add title. 
we will select title and in the error message we will write title can't be blank okay let's close it and we have our error message but here we will choose a decision element and we will check if the title is empty only then the error should occur right so we will add a decision here title empty let's say it says yes and we will check if the record which is contact dot title is null equals to true so if the context title is null that means the title empty is true otherwise it will be false okay now what we'll do is we will just cut this custom error element here and we will put it here okay so when the uh, contact will be created it will check if the title is empty then it will show this error to the user okay let's just save it um, contact title error will be the name and let's activate it okay this looks fine let's go back and let's go to context look at this we have a new format of displaying context here as well we have a lot of new things in the window 24 release uh, let's just create a new contact very quickly and let's add my name we are leaving everything as it is and let's click on the save button okay see we are getting an error we hit a snack and it says title and on title we get this error that we write in the error message which is title cannot be blank okay why it shows in the title and here it shows the field name because we have chosen the uh, error type to be that uh, here you see we have chosen an inline error on the field let's choose this one now in a window on a record page and let's save it and see what is the difference let's activate it and now it will not show the uh, field name and it will not show the error on the specific field. It will just show the error on the uh, overall page. Let's add my name again. Okay, leaving everything as it is and clicking on save. Okay, now we have an error here. We hit a snack, but here instead of showing the uh, field name with a hyperlink to the field, it directly shows the error message that we have written here, which is title cannot be blank, right? And also, you see here uh, underneath the title, we don't have any error messages here because we didn't choose to show it on a specific field. Okay, so these are the two options that you can do. Uh, with the custom error message if you want to show it on an overall page or if you want to show it on a specific field okay let's go back to our flow now and one second let me just do that uh, i will add the title and save to see if the error still occurs or it's just all fine okay so the contact is created successfully uh, that means our flow is working fine and it is showing the custom error message to the user now why this is beneficial because uh, let's say if we want to use the title field in uh, any other process or in any other automation but if the title is empty then our other automation can occur any error or can throw any error right so instead of solving it there we can just simply put it here and we can show our user that the title is empty please fill out the title you can write anything in the error message that you want that is relevant according to your user okay okay now let's do one thing let's make it a step further and let's check that uh, if the previous action is getting rolled back if we get any error okay so now what we'll do is we will create a case for this contact like whenever the contact will be created a case for this contact will be created as well let's name it create a case and for object we are taking case um, for case subject let's name it first case and for contact id we will add the records id okay this looks fine let's save it quickly 
activate it and now we will create a new contact to see if the case is created when the title is there and if it and if it is rolled back if the title is empty okay so let's go here and let's name the contact mr albert einstein okay and let's give it a title to see if the case is getting created or not um admin will be fine i mean it should be an admin no uh, let's click on save and the contact is created and here you can see a case with the subject first name is also created uh, with our flow now what we will do is um, we will create a new contact or uh, let's do one thing let's just delete this one okay Albert Einstein cannot be deleted because of this case. Let's delete this one first. And let's go to contact and delete him. Now we are creating a new contact for him. Uh, Mr. Albert Einstein. Okay. And we are keeping the title empty to see if the case is getting created or if the contact is getting created. Okay. So we will click on the save button. But here you can see the error which is title cannot be blank. Now if we will this is an after save flow because the optimization is for action and related records. Okay. So for an after save flow we are creating a case first for the created contact and then we are checking if the title is empty or not but then again if the title is empty it is not creating any case for any contact okay so this is how the custom error works first of all it will show a customized error for your user to know what is wrong and what he needs to do right to save his record or to update his record second if any of the actions uh but before the custom error that will be rolled back okay so these are the two benefits of using custom error messages so the user will know what is wrong and what to be done right that is it for today that was today's example of a winter 24 update okay which was custom error messages element uh, that is a new element and that is a very useful element trust me i cannot uh, stress enough on this that that is a very very useful element to let your users know to help your users uh, get the things right okay and instead of showing them the system errors which are frankly not pleasant enough to see okay on your screen rather than you can just show the custom error messages to the user to help them out uh, with the situation that they are stuck in that is it from my side i hope you found this useful find new examples for custom error messages let me know your scenarios let me know your scenarios in the comment section that you are planning to use uh, this in this example or in this flow in this automation if you want me to create a video on a particular scenario you can add that in the comment section as well i will see you super soon next week with a new update and with a new uh, element or maybe with a new feature of the winter 24 update till then stay tuned and also if you like the video a hit on the subscribe button will be awesome thank you so much i'll see you super soon bye bye take care